My name is Shyam Bhattacharya. I am reading class 9 in concept of education. Please like, subscribe and share my video. Today, my topic is work institution. In democracy, all the rulers which are elected by the people have follow some rules and procedures. They are work with the institution and within the institution. There are many, many, many key roles, like three key roles to make decisions like legislature, executive and judiciary. The process of taking a major policy decision means how our government can take the decision of policies and make major decisions of policies. In this, there was many cases you can uh, see that Gramoda Yojana. Yojana means policy. You can also hear that 27% of seats are reserved to SEBC means socially economical backward classes. Who is, who is the inventor? Who is give the bill? In 1939, Indian government made a commission named Secondary Backward Commission who was headed by BP Mandal and the commission gave report in 1980 the, the commission said that please reserve 27% of seats for SEBC because they are very backward socially and also the economically. The Prime Minister VP Singh can uh, absorb it and the President was implement all the bills on two houses. The discussion and the heated debates were taken out of this bill. But there was no solution of this bill. Then it was go to the Supreme Court. In Supreme Court, in this case name was Indrani Savarkar, who is the lawyer who fought the case. Union of India case. In 1990, the case was on the Supreme Court. And in 1992, the Supreme Court gave the order that the Mandal report was good, but it needs some modification. Then, why we need institution? We have democracy. Then why we need institution? Because the government have made many th things like they make decision, they make policies, they implement them, then any disputes about them, they can sort out them. Then, all the people in democracy do not rule directly, okay? Because many people in our India, all the people are not uh, make participated, okay? They can elect, okay? Few people can control the India. Then, who was making the bill is called legislature. It was a part of government. And who implement and re-execute the bill is called executive. And judiciary means any disputes about the law and the government is settled out by judiciary. First, we are in legislature. It needed parliament. Parliament means legislature. What we can study? It can make the law. It was the first point in that it was only the authority to make law. Second point, to exercise the working of the government. It can also see the how the government can work. Third point, it can take the expenditure of the government means the uh, money of the government and the money of the people. And fourth point is that the decision and the debate we are talking out in the always in parliament, not anymore. There are this debate and discussion, the, uh, the Indian debate and discussion on any law was taken out in the parliament. In parliament, we read there was two houses of parliament is Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha. Lok Sabha is also called the majority of the people because it has the more power than Rajya Sabha. And Rajya Sabha is also called the Council of the States. The member of Rajya Sabha was elected by the Lok Sabha. Lok Sabha has 545 seats in which 543 are directly elected by the people and 2 are Anglo-Indians which are reserved and which elected 
by the president. The tenure of the time period of Lok Sabha seats are five years. When elections were held, then the Lok Sabha the seats were not changed. The person who are in the seats, they were changed. In Lok Sabha, the two-third year, one-third of people uh, of Lok Sabha came to the Rajya Sabha and the who were retired and complete in tenure of Rajya Sabha when getting out from the Rajya Sabha. Then, well, the two houses have very debate. The head of the Lok Sabha is Prime Minister and the head of Rajya Sabha is President. In this, there was many heated debates and the all the oppositions and coalition parties who came the bill can support and also debate on it. And uh, there was many cases when the bill was passed from first in Lok Sabha, then it came to the Rajya Sabha. And Rajya Sabha also may have debate and discussions on the bill. Then bill was passed. Without any debate and discussion, the bill was never passed because it is a uh, rule that all the bills have debate and discussion in Lok Sabha also and in also in Rajya Sabha. When the bill was passed from the legislature, then it came to the executive. Executive means who the re-execute the bill and implement the bill also. It has two categories. Political executive first. Political executive, there was PM and its cabinet ministers. They can also see the bill and re execute the bill. And they see what is the fault or any, if, uh, any small, small fault on the bill. Then they also reject the bill. Then they can also give back to the legislature. The second part of executive is permanent executive. Permanent executive in which civil servant is coming. IAS, IRS, ETC. In permanent executive, there was they help the political executive to check the bill. Okay. The PM and its 20th cabinet minister cannot check the bill. They also help to check the bill. They, they are civil servants, which are called civil services. You can see there was many exams of IAS, IRS, ETC. Then they can re-execute, re-execute. There was one case of this. When the, there was also a president is also coming when the, uh, they can give permission to the bill, the president can sign the bill and bill was implemented. But when the executive not accept the bill and give the bill to the legislature, then legislature or another time give the bill to the executive, then he passed and they give the president the bill. President can have many ministers and many big ministers and employees to re-execute the bill. But the uh, president can no sign the bill and give the bill to the executive. Then political executive means PM and its cabinets and legislature means MP and MLAs can make a joint meeting and make signs of the bill and pass the bill. Indian judiciary is the most powerful judiciary of the world. It was independent like uh, executive and legislature. The Chief Justice of India appointed by the President on the advice of the PM and its council ministers. One, the judge was appointed, then it was only overthrown by the process of impeachment. When judiciary think that any law or any bill can harm the fundamental rights of the people, then the judiciary can interpret the bill and lift the power of legislative and also the power of executive. 
the fundamental rights of uh, people were misused by executive or legislature were uh, strictly were very strictly action of by judiciary then we come to the president president was the official head of the india he or she was also the head of the three armies without president sign the bill was not passed and he or she was always signs the president he also elect the supreme justice of supreme court about the uh, the advice of the pm then he or she was not directly elected by the people then he or she have not the supreme power the supreme power was hand hand over by pm 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 because people were directly elected him okay the election were because him they elect mls and who was the best in the mls made pm then he was directly elected by the people then he was supreme power he had not the supreme power okay pm pm is a functional head means he represent all over the world in our country then he make cabinet he choose cabinet he can advise the uh, president to uh, take the supreme court judge uh, supreme court judge or and he have many powers they have function all the function of the uh, uh, on india were held and all the many more works were doing by pm pm and its 20 cabinet minister the 20 cabinet minister was chosen by him and he have also supposed of their cabinet minister he had made many posts like education post money post of him ab aate hain is conclusion pe matlab is chapter se hum kya samjhe chapter se hum samjhe ki kaise hamara institution work karta hai kyun hamare uh, uh, indian government ko unity federal government kehte hain aur hamare kitne parts hain इंस्टीट्यूशन में तीन पार्ट्स आते हैं लेजिस्लेचर एग्जीक्यूटिव एंड जुडिशरी लेजिस्लेचर में दो हाउसेस आते हैं जिसे हम पार्लियामेंट भी कहते हैं राज्यसभा एंड लोकसभा राज्यसभा को काउंसिल ऑफ स्टेट्स भी कहते हैं और लोकसभा को मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द पीपल लोकसभा का टाइम पीरियड होता है फाइव ईयर जब जब इलेक्शन होता है और लोकसभा का सीट्स बदलता नहीं है सीट में जो कैंडिडेट बैठे हैं वो बदल सकता है और राज्यसभा में टू थर्ड ईयर में जाते रहते हैं सीट बदलता रहता है अब आते हैं उन्होंने बिल बना दिया लेजिस्लेचर ने बिल बना दिया अब एग्जीक्यूटिव पे पास आएगा वो बिल री एग्जीक्यूट करेगा और इंप्लीमेंट करेगा वो री एग्जीक्यूट करता है उसमें दो हाउस उसमें दो पार्ट्स होते हैं पॉलिटिकल और परमानेंट एग्जीक्यूटिव पॉलिटिकल एग्जीक्यूटिव में पीएम और सिर्फ कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर्स होते हैं और परमानेंट एग्जीक्यूटिव में होते हैं सिविल सर्वेंट जो हम देखते हैं मरते हैं लोग इसके उसका एग्जाम देने के लिए आई ई जो पास नहीं होता वो सुसाइड भी कर सकता है तो फिर हम देख सकते हैं कि ये इसी की वजह से है ये डायरेक्टली हमको इम्प्लीमेंट नहीं करता ये जो सिविल सर्वेंट्स है वो उनको हेल्प करते हैं कि यहाँ ये गलती है इस बिल में तो इसको हमको सुधारना चाहिए तो तब वो जाता है प्रेसिडेंट के पास प्रेसिडेंट का साइन मस्ट है पर एक केस है जो हमने इस वीडियो में बताया है कि कैसे प्रेसिडेंट के साइन के बिना भी बिल पास हो सकता है अब आएंगे बिल पास हो गया मान लीजिए सी जैसे ये बिल पास हो गया अब अब आ रहा है जुडिशरी का रोल ठीक जब कोई भी डिस्प्यूट्स होते हैं डिस्प्यूट्स मीन्स अगर लॉ के अगर कोई प्रोटेस्ट होता है तो वो कौन बत, वो कौन सॉर्ट आउट करेगा जुडिशरी करता है जुडिशरी में कितने कोर्स आते हैं उसमें कोर्स में दो टाइप्स आते हैं सिविल कोर्स और क्रिमिनल कोर्स सिविल कोर्स में हम लोग मनी और लैंड के जुड़े हुए मामले को सुलटाते हैं और क्रिमिनल कोर्स में चोरी डकैती मर्डर ऐसे को, ऐसे केसेस को हम लोग शॉर्ट आउट करते हैं अब आए हम कि इसमें कितने टाइप के कोर्ट होते हैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट हाई कोर्ट और डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट होते हैं अब आए कि एक क्वेश्चन राइज होता है इससे कि क्या जुडिशरी गवर्नमेंट को गिरा सकता है हाँ इसका आंसर हुआ कैसे सुप्रीम जस्टिस ऑफ 
इंडिया उसके पास एक ऐसी पावर है कि अगर कंप्लेन आई सरकार के विरुद्ध तो वो सरकार को गिरा सकता है पर एक केस है कि वो अगर गिराया तो उसको दो महीने के अंदर दूसरी सरकार नियुक्त कर देनी पड़ेगी इलेक्शन कमीशन के साथ मिलकर अब आते हैं क्या प्रेसिडेंट गिरा सकता है सरकार को हम जो समझते हैं प्रेसिडेंट प्रेसिडेंट गिरा सकता है उसके बाद बहुत सारे आर्टिकल है जैसे फाइव उसके पास एक आर्टिकल है जो कोई भी दुश्मन देश हमारे देश पे हमला करे तो वो उस आर्टिकल पे साइन करेगा और गवर्नमेंट की पावर जीरो हो जाएगी और प्रेसिडेंट हम लोग के लिए पढ़ा था कि आर्मी का हेड होता है इसीलिए वो उसकी प्रधानता सबसे मस्ट हो जाएगी तो यहाँ हम इस चैप्टर को खत्म करते हैं मैं आशा करता हूँ कि आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा लगा होगा मेरे वीडियो को लाइक करें शेयर करें और सब्सक्राइब करना ना